Hey guys, welcome back to another Swisters in One video. And did you know that we are actually illegal here? <laughs> it's not illegal, but yeah. Because actually, this 737 that we are in right now is not allowed to fly at this airport. And obviously, you know what I mean. This is London City Airport. Today, we're going to talk about this small airport, which obviously is located in the city of London. Pretty much right in the middle of it. And, and today, we're going to talk about whether it should be closed or not. Because there are a lot of discussions about that it should be closed. So we're going to talk about that today, right? I, I guess. So as I've already said, we are in the middle of London. Actually, the central city, the downtown area is uh, here or something. I actually don't know. Like we have this weird famous tower over here. Yeah, this is actually 11 kilometers out of the city, even though it's pretty much still in the central area of the city. Yeah, whatever. Maybe we should talk about the history of this airport. This airport was opened in 1987. And as you can see, it looks looks pretty weird. Like this, uh, this whole airport placement basically is weird. So this airport opened in 1987, like 32 years ago. Basically, this airport is used mostly for business travel, especially in the financial market, since London is obviously a financial market. And people that travel to this airport mostly just need to be right in the city and then do their job and, you know, fly home again. This is why there are several flights a day uh, to the same destinations, like to other financial hubs like Frankfurt and Germany, since there is obviously a lot of demand. But um, that demand might actually kind of um, decrease as Brexit goes on, which is a whole nother topic. But that actually might be interesting for the topic of closing this airport, since there might actually be no demand for it in the future. Again, that's a whole nother topic, and it's uh, kind of weird. Now, this runway is not long, and that's why, as I've already said in the beginning of this video, the biggest plane allowed to land on this airport airport is the A318. And in fact, it actually has to be a special version of the A318. It's very complicated, actually. Now, this is actually quite a big topic, after all. But obviously, as this is right over the city, we have several problems that we run into. Obviously, we got a lot of noise pollution. And, and so, the planes cannot operate at night. So the airport is only opened from 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. on weekdays. And on Saturdays, it's open from 6.30 a.m to only 1 p.m. Yeah, that's weird. And on Sundays, the airport is actually opened from 12.30 p.m. to 10.30. Okay, those were just a lot of numbers, but this airport is obviously limited when it comes to opening hours, since obviously you do not want to, you know, disturb everyone at night, but only during the day. <laughs> yeah, this can be very, very annoying, but I'm actually kind of used to that since I live very close to Frankfurt Airport, and we also have kind of the same restriction of not being able to operate at night. But, you know, that's not topic. Something that is very special about this airport is another consequence for it being so much in the city is the steep approach angle. This has a steep AF approach angle. Let me just tell you. And obviously to produce the lowest noise possible, you want to have a steep approach angle and fly as far from the ground as possible. And so you obviously want to have the steepest approach angle as possible. Also, you don't want to get too close to buildings and stuff. So this thing has an approach angle of, let me check, 5.1 degrees. Jesus. Normally, you have an approach angle of around 3 degrees. There's another airport with a higher amount of degrees, like Lugano Airport. That one has 4 degrees. This one is probably the highest approach angle there is. 5.1 degrees. That's absolutely crazy, actually, but, but I'll show you in a second. Now, as you would kind of imagine, flights to this airport are way, way more expensive, but obviously, since this is a very business airport, it's not that much of a problem. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, I haven't noticed that. I think I went full power and then I crashed into the water. Yeah, obviously, what you also have to kind of look at is the safety of this airport. I mean, what happens if you, like, roll off or something? <laughs> Who knows? This runway is very, very close to the water. But, you know, there has never been an accident, really, so, you know. But, yeah, from a passenger perspective, this airport is incredibly comfortable, I would say. Since this is very small, you don't have to spend much time at the airport and everything is faster, which, again, makes sense for especially business people. But you know what? Let's just fly, right? We have not flown today yet. Now, actually, right now we are approaching the airport, but we should be much, much, much higher. We're gonna be able to tell by the poppy lights. They are not happy. As you can see, we are way too low. Way too low. Bang, ding, ow. Oh, no. This is how you approach the airport. I mean, it's kind of fun, actually, after all. Okay, let's just try to land on here and not die. Why is there a balloon? This is not a comfortable descent rate. Oh, we're a bit too high, actually. Oh, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna 
gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. Oh, touchdown, finally. That was definitely a failure. What happened to you? This is gonna overrun. This went actually quite well, even though we had a very, very late touchdown. Come on, what the fuck is wrong with you? Fuck you! Now, that did not quite work out, but there's actually kind of a bump on the runway, and uh, my computer has just completely died. That's not good. Yeah, here's a little bump on the runway, and I was very worried about that one, because hitting that one is an immediate death. <laughs> now, maybe let's talk about closing this airport. As you can see, this thing kind of wastes quite a lot of space that you could use to, um, you know, build houses on and stuff like that, which is basically the main point. This thing is kind of wasting space of London, which is not good, obviously. Another point is obviously people are annoyed by the noise that this airport makes. Like, actually, an airport is still kind of audible from miles away. So, that's a good point, uh, actually. Also, this airport is very limited. Only specially certified aircraft are allowed to fly here. Also, you're not allowed to fly at specific times. Also called night. And I've actually done some research on what actual Londoners, or whatever you call people that actually live in London, think about closing this airport. And I've I've read through some articles from journalists and stuff like that. And pretty much all they say is, uh, we have like 5,000 more airports. Why can't you use those? I mean, we have, uh, London Heathrow as well, wherever that is. Oh, it's, it's right here. There it is. I mean, why can't you just fly there? What you say? Valid point. Yeah. And again, this airport takes a lot of space. But on the other side, obviously, it's kind of a cool attraction. It's, it's very comfortable to fly in or out of the airport as a passenger. But maybe not very fun for the aircraft, especially the landing gear of the aircraft craft because actually you can have very rough landings at this airport sometimes. I do like London City very much. I would like it to not be closed. Yeah. Now the hard question, can we land a bigger plane there? Right, so here we are on a 737. This is so illegal. I'm such a bad pilot. Let's just go ahead, shall we? And we are even way too low. Such a badass pilot, isn't it? Bit too low. This is very fun to fly into, to say the least. Don't die. Let's get you buttered. Jesus Christ, not the bump, not the bump. Oof, that was the bump. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a good landing, as always. And we have stopped. Not certified my ass, I guess. I mean, that does look cool, doesn't it? That looks very, very cool. But it's kind of useless, after all. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Poor landing gear. I mean, that was actually going to be quite a good landing. Like, a quite a decent one. But, oh, that didn't work out. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow, as always. Good night.